I remember when I went to see my grandparents one summer. And I was about 16 years old, 15 years old. And it was the middle of the um, middle of a period during the civil rights movement in the U.S. where young people were taking a very, very specific, making a specific statement and stand and leadership within the movement. You had a group called the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC, uh, which was organizing uh, poor people to vote, register to vote, uh, also having um, classes, uh, educational classes, um, freedom schools to teach people. It's around 1962. Well, these people were close to my age, not too much older than I was. Well, my grandparents, who had lived in the rural so South, the poor South, uh, uh, and were farmers, and I had, to that point, visited them on several occasions. But all of a sudden, in 1962, I thought I knew more than, than they did. Or I thought that I felt that the position that they had taken with respect to uh, the struggle with big quotes around it was one in which they essentially capitulated, or they were they were archaic, they were dinosaurs, they were they were uh, a pop, whatever they were, all the kind of things I can think of, and. They had lived with this sense of being called a boy, a grown man at 70 years old, being called a boy or by first name, and to live with this all this life. I mean, what the hell did I know, you know? My grandparents were born in a period, and if they had not existed within the social framework or tried to live and exist within the social context, and make choices to protect themselves and sustain themselves, they wouldn't have been gave birth to my mother, perhaps, or been able to raise my mother in a way that she went to college, then left the South and build a life and a family away from the South. I mean, she didn't. She wasn't in denial of her experience because she always went back to the South, but she was able to lead the South. Now, who am I to condemn the choices that they made? You know, the choices that they made could have been devastating for them personally and as a community, as a community. Yet they, 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 they were the ones who, who stood and withstood the harshness of everything that allowed a new generation to be a little bit more, a little bit more bold in their own aspirations and what their own dreams could be, starting with my mother. My grandparents, <clears throat> my mother's mother and father, never been past the fourth or fifth grade because they had to work in the fields and pick cotton and work all the time to survive. And they had, they had this, that was a, they were born into a system which was a, a system which was almost one of, one of semi-slavery. And the system they were born to was the the application of 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 uh, of, of uh, uh, new rule, new rules after the end of slavery. That's what my grandparents were born into. They were born into their slavery. Then they were born into a set of conditions, social conditions, rules and regulations that were the aftermath of slavery. So they lived by that. Their whole acculturation was that. And yet within that, they had the foresight and the vision to do whatever they could to send their daughter to college. She became the first one to graduate from college. So what they could, did to, in order to survive, I can condemn and as, a, as I stand up as a 15-year-old kid thinking I know everything. But at the same time, what they did was one in which they sustained and build in order for people to come up later 
and to grow and prosper from that. That's, that's my lesson that I learned. I mean, I didn't understand that lesson at 15, but as I grew older, I understood the value of that and the value of what they did, you know. I mean, who knows? You know, it, you know, I always tell people that, that I'm here, that when I'm in front of an audience, I often tell people that uh, I'm here because my mother didn't have to pick cotton in September. She went to school in September and October. 